G'day guys, um, my name is Fiore. I thought I would do a quick video today. I'm super excited. I've just got a parcel in the mail. This is my new Leatherman Charge TTI Plus. And I've looked on YouTube, there's a lot of videos on there. I just wanna do my own quick video on this. I'm also gonna have a quick look at a Skeletal and a quick look at a um, Sidekick as well. But today is mainly about uh, the charge and uh, I'm gonna open up the box. Like I said, I'm super excited and I thought uh, I'd share it with uh, whoever might be interested. As you can see, uh, I've got my uh, trusty Skeletal. I keep it on me all the time. I use it all the time. I'm upgrading today to the charge and uh, let's uh, jump in straight away and have a bit of a look here. So, uh, nice box as per uh, usual with Leatherman. Let's just see what we got. So we got a card telling us uh, how to use the tool. We've got the tool itself. We've got a sheath. You can feel straight away this is a, a completely different tool to uh, to some others out there. It's just solid. You know it's been built well just by grabbing it, I guess. So we've got our little um, uh, bit collection here, some torque spits. We've got a clip for our belt and then a clip for a lanyard. The sheath feels pretty solid. It's a button sheath, there's no Velcro on here. I know this goes on here. I watched a lot of videos on it. Um, there we go. So being new, it probably just needs a little bit more moving around. And uh, here's the tool. So, leave them in charge, titanium. Looks good. Got your steel S30V. I'm just gonna open it up. Yeah, it's smooth. There's your gut hook. Super sharp. Everything locks. It's all one-handed on this tool for the outside tools. And that's a good size blade if you, you know, if you want to take it camping, you want to chop your stuff up on the go, then then that blade's going to do the job. It's uh, just a bit under four fingers. I've got uh, yeah, not the largest or the widest hands, but you know that's uh, that's there for that diamond blade rasp file. Again, all lockable. Um, the clip goes in the side here. Pretty easy to get in and out. Now that's actually locked. So once that's in, a lot of people think you can just push that out. You can't, you've actually got to release it with this button um, to be able to pop that back out again. Same as your lanyard clip. Once your lanyard clips in, it clips in. It's not going anywhere. Unless you push that button. And then out you go. Tools on the inside. We got a uh, flathead pry bar slash bit driver. Not bit driver, flathead uh, screwdriver. And you got your scissors. Has got the old Leatherman, I keep saying Leatherman, Leatherman scissor arm here. And I know on previous models that's actually um, failed, but we'll see how this one goes. I'll definitely put it to the test. And you got your little mini screwdriver in there. Again, a lot of people got negative comments about this little mini screwdriver. I think I'll find... Um, situations where that might come in handy. Absolutely. The fact that it's replaceable is great. Um, we'll flip him over to the other side. Um, 
bottle opener slash can opener. If you notice right here, there's a wire stripper in there as well. So how that works, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try and set. And then you've got your, um, your bit holder. So again, all of these all lock into place. Um, you know. There you go. So it doesn't like really like having both of them up there. Uh, so they both lock into place. Push the button, back down they come. And then your bit driver's in there. And they come out pretty easy. And lock back down again. So down for that. Scissors back down. And then you're into your tool. Replaceable wire cutters, crimper, needle nose pliers, and plier itself. And then you've got some other crimpers here. So if you guys bear with me for a sec, let's put a bit of this stuff to the test um, and just see how it's, uh, how it's going to work. I'm just going to try a few of the features out on this tool just to see whether or not things work as they should. It's great to see what it does, but can it do it? So I'm going to crimp this wire onto here um, using the crimpers. So let's just see what that looks like there. Look, that crimp, but I didn't have the wire in properly. So I'm gonna try that again. Actually, let's try and strip this wire and then put it in the crimper. So, we're gonna move over to our wire stripper. Look, that does a pretty good job. Pretty, uh, it's not like duty wire at all. The pliers are a little bit stiff. I'm not opening them easily just with one hand. They, they seem to wanna just stick down a little bit more. But um, we'll see how that goes. So I'm definitely in now in my terminal. I don't wanna print that down. Yeah, that's done the job. Well, maybe not. That's as close as you're gonna get it crimped. So it's not the crimpers, it's probably my terminals. Obviously a little bit small, but if you could, um, you know, if you wanna get that in there and squash it down, then that's gonna, it's gonna do the job, it's gonna crimp. I haven't got the right terminals here, but you can get the idea. Wire cutter. Yeah, that cuts nice and clean. No issues at all there. So that works okay. Let's um, let's pop the scissors out. We'll give them a bit of a try. These aren't going to cut wire or anything like that. They are gonna cut, um, well they should cut plastic. They should cut uh, cardboard easily enough. There's my packaging. Yeah, that's gonna get through that pretty easy. If you're out fishing and you've got, um, you've got um, fishing line or, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna do that. They're gonna do that fine, you know. Um, Let's try this uh, this gut hook. We know that's going to cut a nice solid bit of paracord, but uh, what we want to try and do is maybe get a uh, cable tie. And um, these are awful things. If you've ever had cable ties in the past, um, trying to get them off without damaging items is really, really hard, you know. Um, so if you can get your uh, your gut hook in there, that should 
cut that cord nice and easily. And that I think is going to be a huge, huge advantage to this tool. That's why I brought this tool. Well, one of the reasons I brought this tool was that gut hook. Um, they call it a gut hook because if you're skinning animals or something like that, you slide down the belly of the animal and then it uh, slices down the gut. But um, there's a lot of different uses for that particular tool. So um, if you leave them in charge, let them in charge, TTI plus. Now, as I said, I've got my skeletal here. Um, it's one of the older models. Size-wise, it's not that much different. Not that much different at all. I've had this for many years. It opens. The reason I'm selling this, or I'm getting rid of this, I'm not even going to keep it because uh, I just, um, I've had it for so long and I just, I will feel sad if it's lying around the house not being used. So I'm actually going to get rid of it. It's going to be out of my possession. I'm going to replace it with this one. So many times I've used this tool and crimped my hand in the top of the knife here. It's just, you gotta be very careful what side you're actually using the uh, pliers on. Look, it's a lighter duty tool. It's a lot quicker to access and get out. The knife blade on this is very good. It's still no wobbles. I've had this for six or seven years and I use it on a daily basis. You know, um, uh, the bottle opener. It's got your clip for your belt. Nice, easy knife, get that out of the way. It's got your uh, removable bit. It's even got a location. I lost it the other day. There's another slide in there if you want to carry two bit pieces. But that's your um, that's your skeletal in its own sheath. As I said, I've got a couple of other tools here today. My son's brought in his Leatherman sidekick, which he got the other day for his birthday. Um, comes with a carabiner. Carabiner's nice and solid. It's got a, a, a hex bit sort of driver in there. Uh, bottle opener. And this. The, um, the sliding bit here is for like grip. Yep. Research it the other day. Yep. So that just gives you a bit of grip. And then um, your pouch. So the difference between the two, obviously. Uh, the uh, charge one's a little bit wider and then it's got the uh, extra bits on the side here if you want to put your bit extender in there as well. This one doesn't have provision for that. But again, side by side, very, very similar in uh, size. The charge is probably that little bit more um, wider. Um, weight, minimal, very minimal. Um, Sidekick, you have to undo your uh, your your screws here if you want to take the uh, the belt clip off. However, you know, opens up. There's your blade. Blade size difference between the two. You know, um, I would say that uh, yeah. Your charge is a little bit, little bit longer, and obviously that's your S thirty S thirty V steel, um, which is very, very hard steel. But that's going to keep sharp for a long time with what my son's going to be doing with it. It's got your uh, saw. You know, Leatherman's just built well. It's just you just you know, like it just. It's just gonna last a long time. These are actually spring assisted pliers. Um, no crimper, no replaceable wire cutters. It's still gonna do the job. Um, it's not, uh, you know. They're gonna do what you want them to do. It's gonna get you out of trouble. Your tools in here. These all lock. These lock. Oh no, they don't lock. These here just uh, set in place. So no bit driver. Flathead, Phillips, one size. 
and then you've got your lanyard hook you've got your bottle opener with your wire stripper so i was impressed actually with that wire stripper it works really well then your file can opener obviously uh, file and then also a smaller bit and then your um your third blade which is you know uh, cutting paracord seat belts anything that is not going to be too harsh for it you wouldn't use that as a store but you know a bit, bit rougher sort of material i guess that all folds up the tool clips in nicely it breaks out nicely you know we've had that for a week now um and then like i said this is yeah just opens up nice and smooth won't take long for that to loosen up but the actual opening of it absolutely nice and quick you're going to be able to get you know get your knives out it's going to take a little bit of getting used to a little bit of wearing in um you know when you've had something for so long that's got the same locking mechanism but i know it's just a lot easier to open and close I've had it for so many years, this is just going to take a little bit more getting used to. Um, Leave them in charge, TTI Plus. Got this on special for $289 Australian. And uh, I've invested the money in this tool because one day my son's not going to want that and he's going to want that. And that'll be around for many many years to come as a hand-me-down tool and used every day uh, thanks for watching be sure to like my page